Ahoy there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Little Bear who loves to read along with you. Little Bear has a question for you, buckos. Have you met mean looking Sir Peg? No? Shiver me timbers! Here he is right now with eight giant seahorses pulling his sleigh. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if Sir Peg is anything like Santa Claus. A Pirate's Night Before Christmas by Philip Yates. Twas the night before Christmas aboard the Black Sark. Not a creature was stirring, not even a shark. The stockings were stuck to the bowsprit with tar in hopes that Sir Peggotty soon would be thar. The pirates were snoring like pigs in their beds, while visions of treasure chests danced in their heads. And I, with me spyglass and scruffy old dog, stood watch in the crow's nest for ships in the fog. When out in the mist there arose such a racket, I slid down the mast with me sword to attack it. Away to the poop deck I ran very fast. I threw off the anchor and shouted, Avast! Straight up from the sea in the foamy white spray flew eight giant seahorses pulling a sleigh. A mean looking driver, a hoisting one leg. Well, shiver me timbers, it must be Sir Peg. More sluggish than flounders, his coursers they came. And he whistled and snarled and called them by name. Now Salty, now Scurvy, now Sinbad and Molly. On Cutthroat, on Cross Eyes, on Roger and Jolly. To the top of the sail, to the tip of the mast. Now dash away, dash away, dash away fast. And then with a cry and a crack of his whip, down came his sleigh on the deck of our ship. A jolly old sea dog, enormously fat. And so was the parrot that perched on his hat. He was dressed all in black from his head to his heels and his clothes were all covered with seaweed and eels. His eyes, how it twinkled. His dreadlocks, how twiny. His scars were like crossbones. His gold tooth, how shiny. His mouth was turned up with a nasty old look. The silver gleamed sharp on the point of his hook. A scary white skull he had hung on his ear soon gave me to know I had nothing to fear. He spoke not a word but went straight to his sack and stuffed all the stockings with coins and hardtack. The black sark was soon filled with holiday cheer and loaded with gifts for each good buccaneer. Anchors and hornpipes and cackle fruit eggs, pearls and red sashes for Bonnie and Meg, a cauldron for cook filled with pieces of shank, and just for the captain, a shiny new plank. But oh, me heart broken and tears in me eyes, I said to myself, blimey, where is me prize? But he hopped in his sleigh to his team gave a roar. It's time to return to the briny deep floor. 
Then just when I thought it's me worst Christmas day, a parchment of paper flew down off the sleigh. And it was the best present I ever got. A map to a treasure. X mass marks the spot. I laughed and I danced and I shouted with glee as up went his sleigh and then down to the sea. But I heard him exclaim ere he splashed neath a star, Merry Christmas, me buckos, and a Happy New Year! Little Bear's wondering, what is a poop deck? Not what you think, Bear. A pirate told me it's the highest deck at the back of a ship. Well, Bear says come back soon, you old sea dogs, for more briny adventures. Bye for now. Please subscribe.